So you have inflammatory bowel disease, and we're wondering if there is an inflammatory bowel disease diet. Your doctors have probably told you that there isn't an inflammatory bowel disease diet. And as a matter of fact, they probably said diet has nothing to do with your condition. But you know better, don't you? And so do I. Stay tuned, and I'll describe how to determine your inflammatory bowel disease diet. This is Dr. David Dahlman for drdahlman.com. There is no one specific inflammatory bowel disease diet that would work for everyone, but I can provide the plan for you to determine what is safe and not safe to eat. Certain foods are pro-inflammatory, meaning some foods will promote the inflammatory process in your body. We can, in general, learn about known foods that are probably pro-inflammatory for everyone, and then we can also test you to learn what foods are pro-inflammatory specifically for you. First, I assume that anyone who has a chronic health condition probably knows it's best to control your diet by making most of your food yourself and trying to eat whole foods. That means fresh food, fresh meats, chicken, fish, fresh vegetables and fruit, and limited but certainly fresh grains, rice, and potatoes. I'm not trying to give you a complete list, just an idea of what whole fresh foods are. There are also two food groups that are known to be pro-inflammatory dairy products, and gluten-containing foods. Avoid them 100%. Stay away from all of the milks and cheese and ice cream. Avoid sour cream, cottage cheese, cream cheese, and also yogurt. If a product has an ingredient list on its package, read it and look for the words milk, cheese, lactose, whey, and also casein. When you go out to eat, ask lots of stupid questions about what's in the food you're ordering. Do the same for gluten-containing foods. Avoid anything made from or containing wheat, oats, barley, and rye. The advice, this advice is the foundation of everyone's inflammatory bowel disease diet. But now let's get specific for you. We have available to you by calling my office a food allergy test. This is a test for 88 foods that when consumed, cross over into your bloodstream, triggering antibodies you've created to that food that then generate the chemistry that promotes the inflammatory process in your body. It is this test that solves the riddle many very intelligent and informed people have as to why they can't determine what foods are causing their symptoms. You can eat something on Tuesday for lunch, not have symptoms till Friday after dinner. And that symptom is the creation of the inflammatory process, which you cannot feel happening. Other symptoms may also occur, but the inflammatory process building up over time is the one that is behind your condition. Read more about the test I recommend by visiting drdahlman.com, clicking on conditions in the upper right side of the page, and then click on lab tests. Any inflammatory condition can be conquered by reading my free 35-page report about Crohn's and colitis, available for download from any page on my website. Don't suffer from inflammatory bowel condition. Take control with a plan that makes sense. I'm Dr. David Dahlman for drdahlman.com. To read more information and view additional videos about natural therapies for many chronic health conditions, please visit drdahlman.com.